Guys, we got some new trailers out for some horror movies coming up in 2015. So I wanted to talk about them with you. So we're going to talk about The Gallows, The Visit, and Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. Guys, if I look like I got a little bit of sun, it's because I was at Welcome to Rockville in Jacksonville this last weekend. And I was rocking my face off. There were like 24 bands there. So I, I did a video to kind of chronicle my little weekend at Rockville. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down below. As you guys know, I love horror movies. And there have been some pretty decent ones that have come out recently, like It Follows and The Babadook. So when I was at Rockville, I did notice that they had some new movie trailers up. One of them was for The Gallows, which looked pretty interesting. And then when I got home, I was looking around and seeing what other horror movies are coming out, and I noticed that The Visit, uh, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, and Paranormal Activity. So I thought I'd do a little video. First, let's start off with The Visit. M. Night Shyamalan, the guy knows horror. I mean, he did Signs, he did The Sixth Sense, which are two of probably the best horror movies uh, in the last couple decades. I mean, the guy knows how to use the camera, he knows how to create suspense, and he knows how to scare the audience. But the guy has not had a very good track record uh, probably over the past 10 maybe 15 years now it's just he can't churn out anything that's good lately so the premise of the visit is some kids they go visit their grandparents for the week and then all these weird things start happening while they're visiting and it looks kind of like a found footage type movie i can't really gauge whether it is or not but it feels like it's shot in that that way and we see the grandmother that's like scratching at the door and the grandpa's looking down the barrel of a 12 gauge shotgun and just all these weird events start happening and then the end of the trailer the grandmother wants the kids to basically jump in the oven but it almost feels very b-movie-ish and i'm kind of shocked that a guy that's such a good director of horror would put out something that doesn't look that good and it's a movie trailer so it should grab your attention immediately but this it, it immediately made me think this doesn't look good at all so I'll reserve, I'll reserve judgment until I see it but I'm not impressed so far next up we got Paranormal Activity The Ghost Dimension and this looks to be a, a sequel to Paranormal Activity 3 because I know they had the marked ones which was something outside of that whole storyline and I never even bothered to watch the Mark ones. To be honest, I only got about halfway through Paranormal Activity 3. The first one I actually liked. I thought it was really good. Actually, the second one has some pretty good stuff in it, too. But it kind of ran its course on me. And I'm really picky with found footage movies, too. And so, so this one, it, it didn't really grab me. It's First of all, it's kind of a long trailer. It's almost five minutes long. And then you see this family having the house built. I think it, it might be on the same grounds as the previous house with the couple in the first paranormal activity I'm not sure about that but then they're kind of going and visiting the house as it's being built and then you see all these weird things start happening like the door has the like a, de a demon symbol on it and then at night the family goes to visit the house just to check up on it. I don't know why they would do it in the middle of the night with no lights on but whatever and so they go in there and you see these uh, figure this like figures sitting in the corner and then when they look away and then they look back and it's gone and then they look down the hall and then just like you see in all these stupid horror movie trailers the figure rushes at them and then that's the end of the trailer didn't grab my attention at all looked pretty stupid actually could be wrong could be great but you know i don't know it's just i'm not a huge paranormal activity fan so right away that's against me lastly let's talk about the gallows this movie actually looks pretty interesting i think it has a lot of potential they don't really show you that much, but what they do show looks interesting. Right away, the cinematography kind of grabbed me because it's red. And you see this girl just sitting on the floor um, out in the lobby of her apartment, and she's crying, and then the camera comes closer to her, and then you see that she has these, like, rope marks on her neck. It looks like rope marks. It's all black in the background, and then all of a sudden you see uh, an apparition or a ghost or whatever kind of fade in. Kind of like John Carpenter did with Halloween with Michael Myers' mask just kind of fading in. And then you see this, um, the noose. And then at the end of the trailer, the noose goes around her neck and just pulls her back and she goes down the steps. 
So it also looked kind of kind of like it could be found footage, but it did look interesting. One thing that was against it though is they had these little review snippets throughout, but then you know you know these a lot of these trailers you see these review snippets and you look and see who wrote the review, and they're like the first couple of snippets they don't even like put anything below it. It's just a quote saying you know it's suspenseful or whatever like that and then you see it's just audience reaction the audience could have been a 14 year old boy could have been anybody you know so you can only take that with a grain of salt but what i did see it did look interesting so i'll probably be checking that one out so guys that's my trailer roundup uh for the week i know i know there's some others out there like the new amityville i saw the trailer for that one it looks it looks like it could be okay it looks kind of cliche though so i'm not going to go too deep into detail on that one uh, there's a lot of horror movies coming out, a lot of bad ones, I'm sure. And finally, I gotta mention, I did a review on It Follows, and I can't sing enough praise for this movie. This is how you do good horror. And I just, I'm begging you guys, if you haven't seen It Follows, please go out and support this movie. This is a damn good horror movie. It's not found footage. A lot of care went into this project. You can tell, you can tell the director loves the genre. So definitely check it out if you haven't yet, please. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Rumdum out.